Just recently, Atlanta Rhino sent me this big game sheet of their Juneteenth DTF transfers. And the only way for me to really let you see them was to stretch it all the way out like this so you can see all of the options. The hardest part about this is going to be deciding which one to use. Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. Now, Atlanta Vinyls transfers come with this set of directions and I'm going to follow them to the letter. The first thing it says is to trim off any of the registration strips or any of the lines. So I've already done that. You didn't need to see me cutting. I cut off everything that's not a part of the design. This is one of the designs I'm going to use and this is the other one. Then it says preheat the garment for three to five seconds. So I'm going to take this shirt. I like to fold mine in half and get a crease and preheat at the same time. So I'm basically cutting down my time. So I'm gonna fold my shirt in half. This is a Gildan heavy cotton shirt. Both of these shirts are Gildan heavy cotton. So I'm going to fold it in half, come over here. And I am going to pre-press for five seconds. Okay. All right. What does it say to do next? Now it says place the transfer on the shirt, white side down, image facing up. So here is the white side of the image, the side with the, like the powdery look. You want to put that face down on the shirt. Please excuse me having my back to the camera. So having that crease down the middle lets me know where the middle of my shirt is. Placing the image right in the middle. Three fingers from the collar. Three fingers. One, two, three. Just going to place it down. What does it say? Then it says press at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. Firm pressure. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to actually increase the pressure. If you are using a heat press where you can't control the pressure like this, for example, if you're using an easy press, you might want to add pressure. If you're using an auto press, then you might want to add a pressing pillow to increase the pressure because you want to have firm pressure. All right. So 15 seconds. Then it says remove the garment from the press and let it stand until it's cool enough to peel. Okay, so remove it from the press. So I'm just going to do it like this. There's no weeding, no computer, no, no nothing. The only time you will need a computer or a device is to order your images and don't forget to use my discount code. It is Delanda and it will save you 5% on your order. So I'm letting it cool off. All right. There are only seven steps in this full process. All right, I feel like it's cool, still warm. All right, now it says peel cool. So I'm gonna put it back on the heat press and let it, I'm gonna peel it. I'm gonna peel it very fast. That already looks really good. All right, and then it says cover the image with parchment paper. This is Reynolds parchment paper. Press it for five seconds. It says, uh oh, that's my dog's toy. You can use a Teflon sheet butch or butcher paper. You have it. All right, so I'm gonna press this. I wanna press it for more than five seconds, but don't tell anyone from Atlanta Vinyl that I said that. All right, so here is my first shirt and it is complete and it looks fantastic. 
I love this. If you're finding this helpful, don't, don't forget to like this video. Let's do the second shirt and we will get ready to land this plane. I'm gonna follow those same steps. I'm gonna fold my shirt in half. This is a chocolate brown cotton. It's actually heavy cotton. This one is a large and I'm going to fold it in half. Do a quick pre-press, five seconds. Going to grab the second image, making sure that I have cut all the lines off. Okay, this is the second image. I think it's really pretty. Coming down three fingers from the top. Okay. Firm pressure, 15 seconds, 300 degrees. Okay. Gonna be super quick and easy. Come on, come on. All right. Let it cool down. If you're patient, you don't have to do this. You can just put it on a table and come back. You can set a timer. You can do whatever you want to do. You can do jumping jacks. You can run up and down your stairs. You can run up and down the hallway. You can call a friend. You can do whatever you want to do until it cools down. Still kind of warm. That looks really, really good. Okay, I think it's cool enough. I'm gonna pull this out. Grab that same piece of parchment paper. Oh wait. <laughs> Just kidding. I gotta peel it. I'm gonna peel it super fast. Okay, there it looks really good. All right. Press it again. It says five seconds. I'm gonna let it go longer than five seconds. And we will see the finished product. I think that looks perfect. Turn the heat press off. This is my second shirt. All in under, I'm sure, 15 minutes. It might even be 10 minutes. I don't know. I haven't looked at the time on the video. However, if you did find this helpful, remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thanks for watching. Bye.